Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am super excited to be part of a Newton's Look Design Sweet Treats Blog Hop. This is their seventh annual a Sweet Treats Blog Hop. It's perfect for Valentine's Day and there's lots of inspiration with sweets and some fun packaging and I encourage you guys to visit. There is a giveaway to go with this, um, this hop. I'll leave the Newton's Look Design Shop blog down below if you want to start at the beginning and I hope you join this. For my project today we're going to create a pocket, a cookie pocket. So to do that I'm using a stamp set called Lovely Blooms. This is such a fun stamp set that has customizable sentiments. I think it'd be perfect for Mother's Day. There's a mason jar in there, and then there's sentiments in here um, for mother, sister, grandmother, daughter. And so um, I thought it'd be perfect to make some little cookie bags for some, or cookie, not really bags. I would say cookie packaging for some family members. So I have some cardstock. I have red, a light pink, and then a darker pink. And we are going to do some heat bossing. So I treated each of these papers with my anti-static powder tool. And now we're stamping the rose floral in the stamp set twice on each one of these cardstock with Versafine on it. Uh, Versafine, nope, not Versafine. I always get it mixed up, Versamark ink. And so I think this little Kitty Cat likes my bright colors that I'm using today. <laughs> She's been walking across my desk all day long. I'm going to add my white embossing powder, but before we melt it, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my leaves. We'll ink those up with Rosamark ink. Stamp those a few times. Um, I'm going to use two for each of my pockets, and we're going to actually create three today, so I'm doubling up. Once everything is melted, we're going to line everything up and take the coordinating dies and die cut out our leaves and our flowers. And there is a coordinating die set. Um, everything that I use today will be listed below if you guys are interested and want to check it out. But leaves are easy to line up. And as I did this, uh, before I started die cutting, I thought, let's bring in a darker green cardstock and stamp um, the leafy flourish in this set on... Um, on some darker green cardstock. So we'll do the same thing. Treat our paper, uh, ink up our stamp with Versamark ink, and then heat emboss it with white embossing powder. And this leaf flourish has like five leaves on a stem, and I think it'll just add an extra detail to um, when we decorate our little uh, cookie pocket. <laughs> Once everything is die cut, I have three panels that measure six by six inches. These are what we're gonna to use to create our pockets. Um, I thought we would decorate these with some hearts at the very top. We're not gonna close, be able to close our pocket, so the top part of our pocket's gonna remain open, and I wanted a little bit of Valentine detail. So I'm bringing in the Tumbling Heart stencil, and we are gonna add some hearts to the very top of just one of the corners here. I'm using my Distress ink. This is Picket Fence. Um, what it's going to do is just add a little bit of a faded heart detail. This stencil is really nice because the hearts are gradient, so it starts off really small and they gradually get bigger and bigger. And I think it's perfect for that corner. I love the way that looks. I'll take the darker pink and do the same thing to that. Just line up our stencil. I had already sprayed some pixie spray behind the stencil. Um, it looks like I need to wipe it off and redo it because uh, it's not as sticky as it as I want it. <laughs> but um, easy to do, just taking my picket fence and going over my little hearts and adding a, a very faint little heart background. I didn't want it to be too bold, but I did want some hearts on my project, so I thought that would work out perfectly. Now the pale pink cardstock, I'm afraid that the picket fence is not going to show up at all. So what we're gonna do is bring in a picked raspberry and very lightly go over our stencil with a picked raspberry, just so, it, again, it's very faint in, in our background. And I think that looks fabulous. Now we're just doing one corner. Um, the other corners are gonna be folded in, so we don't need to do those. Now we're gonna bring in our scoreboard to create our pocket. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. Um, since our panels are six by six, you are going to take each of the corners, and I like to start at the top corner, line it up at the four and a quarter inch mark, and then, then just turn the left side of my panel so it's at the four and a quarter inch mark. So the top and the left side 
corners or at the four and a quarter inch mark. You're scoring at two inches. Very easy to do. You're just gonna keep turning it. Um, you're gonna turn it on the left, the right, and the bottom. Again, that top area where we did the stenciling, you don't need to score on that side. But just score at two inch mark and we are good to go. Now, my pockets are not gonna be closed. There's gonna be a peekaboo peek window in it, but if you want to create a pocket that is fully enclosed, instead of scoring at the two inch mark here, you would scoot it over and maybe score at the two and a quarter or two and a half inch mark, and then your envelope would actually close. But we want a peekaboo so you can see the cookie all around, and I think the two inch mark is perfect for that. So we did the the left, right, and bottom, and we'll do the same thing to our last. Once they're all scored, we just take the other end of our scoring tool, fold in each one of the flaps, and reinforce those score lines so they stay semi-closed. And you can see the gap that I created. Again, if you were to close the envelope, you would score um, at a wider mark. Instead of the two inch mark, you would go wider. We'll do the same thing to our light pink. And then our last but not least, our pretty red color cardstock. Okay, now we need a label to put on top of these envelopes to doctor them up. So we're going to bring in our circle framed, um, our circle frame dies here. Taking the small scallop and the stitch circle here. Um, the scallop, I'm using the same colored cardstock we used for the envelopes and die cut each one of those out. And then with the white cardstock, I'll die cut out some circles with a stitch circle. I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive behind the white circle and add them and the inside of our scalloped. And both the scalloped and these circles have stitch detail, so it looks so pretty. We'll add our last one. Now we're gonna flip over each one of our flowers um, I am going to go ahead and grab my sentiments. This stamp set is nice. Like I said, it is basically from, I would say, more Mother's Day. Um, but there's sentiments in here. There's mother, friend, daughter, sister. I'm going to take friend, uh, daughter, and sister. And then there's a little secondary sentiment that says um, for my. So you can customize these little tags. Actually, they're not tags. I would say labels. <laughs> We're gonna add foam adhesive behind each one of our flowers, and I'm putting the opposite colors on each one of these little labels. So my darker pink will have the light pink and red. My light pink label will have the red and the darker pink, and then my red label will have the light pink and dark pink. Just so there's still those that, that trio of colors. And then of course you're gonna have both the leaves and then the, the, the darker green leaf florist that we created. Um, popping up the leaves and the flowers with foam adhesive. I'm just adding one so I can kind of tuck them together and they are good to go. I think they look so dainty and pretty. Now we're stamping our sentiment. I'm using my black ink for that. Uh, we're going to start off by stamping our second sentiment first. So friend, daughter, and sister here. And this way I know where to put them on my panel. And then we're gonna take our first part of the sentiment says for my, and stamp that just above each one of our scripty sentiments here. And I love that the for my is block and then the friend, daughter, sister, grandmother are all um, scripty, real pretty script too. Now to adhere our labels to our pockets. So easy guys. My goodness. Um, you would just add foam squares to each one of the folded in corners. They fit perfectly in those corners. You remove the release paper and then you just add your label right on top. And again, I have the opening because I want this, I want you to be able to see the cookie down there. <laughs> but so cute. And I, these are just for neighbors or friends. I think that would be really nice. But if you have kids that are having Valentine's Day parties, I know my kids are in school, but they're older. Um, but if you have kids that are having Valentine's Day party, these would make cute little classroom Valentines. Um, I know Newton's Nook Designs have, has a real cute truck stamp set that would be perfect for these little pockets and cookies. But um, just remove our last release paper here and then add our last label. 
add that and I love it there's 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 a room in there for a cookie too um I'm bringing my cookies I didn't bake them um I actually um, cheated and bought them and I do like to put my cookies in a cello bag um I have these on hand because I make a lot of treats but if you guys have your card packaging cello bags you could use those or even saran wrap for your cookies. You just tuck them in there. You can see the cookies peeking out in the very bottom. And you have some cute little cookie pockets um, for Valentine's Day. So that's my project. I hope you guys get a chance to visit the Newton's Nook Designs blog for a sweet treats um, festival. <laughs> There's lots of goodies over there. You're going to definitely have a sweet tooth if you visit. And there is a giveaway too, guys, if you want to check it out. Have a great day. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.